One page claims you'll enjoy building a website with their tool. And I got to be honest with you. I actually do agree with them. Building a website with one page is straightforward, clean, and it gets the job done. It, it doesn't overcomplicate things. So right now I am kicking off the remix AI system from one page, and I've already told it what type of website I want. I can go ahead and straight off use a template or I can do the AI remix from a template, which is my favorite tool because I already tell it what I want and it's going to get the job done for me. Now you can see right now that this is getting built by one page right now, and I can go ahead and start modifying this after it finishes. So first off, it adds the wireframe, adds content, and at the end, it adds the image that are needed for this page. And right now it's now done. I can go ahead and do a remix again, but I'm going to go ahead and approve. I now have the option to get started with building my website. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, you'll actually enjoy building a website with one page because it's clean. It's like I haven't found any issues like I do with other website builders. They overcomplicate things. They overcomplicate features. And in this case, it's just simple to build a website. Plus, you'll be able to send out emails. You have a CRM. You'll be able to create a form straight from here and capture all those clients. And once it's done, I'm able to customize my website and enjoy building it. So for example, all I have to do is select the section. And right now I'm going to click on this text section and I'm able to customize this really easily. I can just go ahead and type in and customize this. I can use the AI writer. I can use some quick edit actions here. I can add my own prompt. I can use prompts that I've saved, which is really useful if you plan to use the same prompt in the future. A few settings for the model available right here. And it's just super easy to customize text. Plus you have all these available settings for your text settings, sizes, etc., SEO settings, all that will be available right here. And for images, same thing goes. I'll just go ahead and select an image and I have the option to customize the image here. I can upload my own image. I can view my other images, image size. I have my options available here. For example, open in a model box, background color. If I want to change that here, full size, full height, some details here. I have my options to, for example, an overlay style. If I want some animation, for this specific image that I've selected and I have actions that I can create here. So for example, if they click on this image, it jumps somewhere else. The alt text for SEO purposes, a hover effect. I can track events. Now I really like this feature, especially in the buttons, the track event, because it helps me add the pixel really easily right here. So if, for example, if they click on, I want to buy, that's going to make it super easy for me by adding a track event so I can track this. It doesn't overcomplicate things to do that. Now, what if I want to add a new section? Well, if you hover over to these sections, there's a little plus button here that you can go ahead and click on it and you'll have available sections to add here. Now I can generate a section with AI or I can use the available section templates straight from here. Now, first off, I want to show you the blueprints, which are the wireframes to add sections. Now, if I already have an idea of what I want to add right here, I can use the wireframe which is going to make things super easy for me because if, for example, I can select this three section one if I plan to add three images or two images and tags, and I can use these blueprints to add my sections here, or I have several available sections here that I can start using depending on my needs. So for example, let me show you one of the most popular one, which is the form and funnels. That means that if you want to implement the form, this is going to be automatically tied into one page. So if someone signs up through this form, it's going to be added to your CRM inside of one page. So it makes things super easy. So let me go ahead and select this one first. Let me go ahead and add it and we get a preview of how this is going to perform and the two sections in this case. So the form and once they finish, this is the thank you section. So let's go ahead and add this to page just to show you how easy this is. And again, you can go ahead and select these sections and start customizing it really easily here on the builder, just select something and the options are going to appear. For example, if I need the middle name, if I want to set a minimum and max length, some options for the sizing, the minimum width, etc. all from here, just select an element and you'll be able to customize it. Now, if I select the form section, there's a new button that pops up here on the top left. So if I click on edit form, this is going to give me the options for the actual form. So if I need to add new elements, I can do so here. In this case, it's one step, but I can add more steps to this. So right now it's just the form planner and the final step, which is the thank you section. And again, I can customize the thank you section right here. Plus I have my settings here for the form. I have the conditional logic in case I want to use that. So let's go back to the form. Let's select conditional logic and I can set my conditional logic right here by selecting it and telling it what I want it to do. So 
if something happens go to or else and just use the conditional logic right here which is pretty practical if you ask me then you have your results options for the form that i've added right here now that is for form you can also add quizzes you can create funnels straight from the sections that you add right here so let me go ahead and remove this section because this is just for testing purposes and let me go ahead and again go to sections let me go into forms and funnels let me go ahead and select one that has several sections so in this case this one has nine sections and you can view every section here and you can customize it afterwards so just go ahead and add it to page and you'll be able to customize it really easily by going into edit form and editing each one of these sections so just go ahead and select it and it's going to open up the section and you'll be able to edit which makes things super practical so adding new sections to your website is going to be super easy now that is selecting sections that are already created and there's several of these sections for pricing tables galleries frequently asked questions etc but i'm going to create one with ai to show you how powerful this is so i'm going to create a pricing table for i don't know three grinders let me go ahead and type in the prompt here okay so this is going to be my prompt i decided to make a subscription for coffee every single month so that's the section that i need that is the pricing table i have options like modern style direct formal a dark section type i can select the type of section that i want here but in this case i'm gonna just go with general so let's go ahead and send this off and it's gonna create it for me right now so as you can see here without pausing the video this is actually doing it for me so we got the starter pack which is in this case it's pesos because it's in mexico you can see here one kilogram of specialty coffee monthly delivery access to exclusive roast and then we got tier two enthusiast choice and this is 25 and you can see here that's going to include uh, for a few more things and if i like this i can go ahead and keep this if i want to do a remix i can do so here but in this case i'm going to approve it and now i'll be able to customize all these sections manually right here so the output that i got was actually really good it understood what it had to do the type of coffee and it even incentivized me to have more options in the tiers as they grow automatically so i can use those or i can modify it if i want but but it's just super nice and enjoyable enjoyable to build a website here on one page the best thing of all is that you don't encounter bugs it's enjoyable all right then on the left aside from the sections the easy customization the, the ai we have our details over here so we can view the pages so we'll be able to view all the pages here if i select the button i can go ahead and connect it to a different section let's just say that this one needs to be connected to a page just go ahead and click here and connect it to a, a different page so in this case if i click right now that's going to go into the new page so it's just super easy to connect pages create pages and connect them in this case we have our media so it's like a file manager for your library you got your design styles here so if you just select something here it's going to automatically update the style here for the colors typography if you have a ui kit for the button styles for the form styles we have code available here for the head body and style so if you want to bring in a chat bot a system that does something extra on your website it's just super easy just go ahead and add the code right here it's not complex at all and that's what i love about one page okay you have your settings for your page general page settings so in this case we want to give our page a title just go ahead and add it right here i'm not going to do it right now but it's just super easy the seo settings for this page the track events options so you can see when i click the button we can add a track event or I can do a track event straight from here. The site settings, so I got my general settings, my domain settings. If I don't wanna use the domain provided by one page and I wanna connect my custom domain, just go ahead and go through the steps right here. My integrations, so I'm able to integrate with all these as of this video. The SEO general settings, the custom code, the cookie banner. If you wanna create a cookie banner right here, just go ahead and select here, add the details, and boom, you got a cookie banner without overcomplicating things your collaboration team members you can invite them straight from here now that is for the page building feature i mean there's a bunch of more features more there's a bunch of more sections and it would be hard to cover all of them in this video but you get the overall idea that it's actually enjoyable to build the website now aside from that we have the email section here where we can create templates we can send out a template really easily straight from here just go ahead and create a template and send these out you got your CRM. In this case, I've already filled out one, one time one of these forms and boom, the contact is available right here. So I got my status, which is pending from the form, from the hero, email, the details for this, first name, middle name, and last name. It was just super simple. It's like a subscribe form. But if you have more details, you're going to view them all right here. 
you can create different lists so in this case this is the all list i have a specialty coffee list here for for that specific reason and i have my integrations that i can integrate to right here so it's just super easy to make your connections straight from here so all that is going to be available for you to start creating your website right away without over complicating things so if you ask me one page is a fantastic option for anyone that wants a nice website that is useful that is enjoyable to build and you're not going to encounter bugs this is a fantastic option so what are you waiting for sign up in the link in the description right now and tell me what you think about one page and what you would like to see in the future don't forget to like subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out and that's a wrap